the Mi 11X. It's a wonderful device. I bought it around six to eight months back when it was launched and uh, at the time of buying this device, I was really excited because you were getting the Snapdragon 870 uh, AMOLED panel with 120Hz refresh rate, decent cameras, a decent sized battery, fast charging. So there were high expectations with this particular device. But what happened is it was downed by software. As is the case with a lot of devices in the history of smartphones, Mi 11X was yet another victim. But that story is somewhat changing with a lot of new updates that Xiaomi is giving to this particular device. Now this is a Mi 11X codename Elliott or Elliott In and it's also sold as the Poco F3 and the Redmi K40 and today we are talking about one of the updates that is a weekly update of Xiaomi.eu which is based on Android 12. Now remember this is a very very early beta most of the features are missing and we are covering this for you guys week by week to let you know what is improving what is changing and at a certain point in time I will let you guys know that you know what now you can actually go ahead and use this update based on Android 12 with MIUI as a daily driver. So before we get into all that exciting stuff, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you like chatting with like-minded people who have similar devices, join us on Telegram. We have a lot of activity there. We have more than 1,000 to 1,100 people. You can chat, you can get help, you can do all sorts of stuff. If you're active on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, you can follow us there as well. We post regular updates there too. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort and you want to support us, click on the join button to get channel memberships and access to exclusive content. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So we are talking about Xiaomi.eu's latest weekly update, which of course is based on Android 12, right? Now let's see over here. If you go to my device, you will see that the version number has bumped up to 21.11.11 .11 for this device. And if you go to the three dots here and you go to what is new, you get an extensive list, right? So it says organization updated Android security patch to November. So we've started getting November security patch. Now, as you guys must be recollecting Xiaomi.eu ROMs are mostly based on MIUI China. So these are the purest form of ROMs. They perform very good most of the times compared to the global updates. Even the updates that you can get in India, they are trash anyways. Anyways, so getting back to the topics, sometimes a smart toolbar position was displayed incorrectly. Icons weren't changed while applying themes in some cases. Now there is a fix for control center. Sometimes notifications were flashing when swiping left and right to switch between notification shared and control center. I've experienced this in the last week's update. So yes, they, they have fixed that. Location settings stopped working on some devices, couldn't adjust the font size occasionally after adjusting the size several times in a short period of time. Now there is a tip for Android 12 devices which we are not going to cover because we have to still flash this using fast boot using a computer because there are no recoveries available which are supporting Android 12 and hopefully that will change soon. So let's talk about this particular ROM. Now the first thing that still annoys me a little bit is you guys are not giving me a refresh rate toggle. I have been saying this since the last Last two to three weeks you have font settings when devices in VR things which don't really matter to me I've searched everywhere I cannot find an option to change the refresh rate so if Xiaomi.eu or Xiaomi or anyone is listening who works on these softwares please add a refresh rate option because I showed you in the last video as well that this is running on 60 Hertz which is a waste because it is a 120 Hertz panel Nonetheless, let's go ahead and talk about other things over here. Now you do get the latest no November security patch and if you go to security status, you do see that as well. Moving on, you have SIM cards and mobile networks, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connection sharing. If you go to wi wallpaper and personalization, you do get an agreement over here and you have the similar thing. Now, not to mistake the absence of 120 Hertz with lagginess or stutteriness. The good thing about this particular Android 12 update is that it is extremely smooth. And I'm not sure if these ROMs have already gotten the enhanced edition treatment or if they will get even more smooth when you give them the enhanced edition treatment. Basically, Xiaomi will. Anyways, so under display, you don't really have any options. All the advanced software features are missing. So hopefully they will add that later. And moving on, you have sound and touch notifications and control center everything is same old same old no new changes in parts password and security you do have face unlock you do have screen lock and fingerprint scanner all those things are working under special features 
you do have the smart toolbox feature which you can enable to be shown always as you can see on the screen and you can launch any application of your choice you can choose the toolbox position to the left or right you can select the amount of games that you want to keep in there you can select the amount of video apps you want to keep in there so this is a good thing you know i mean the smart toolbox is a very good addition i'll tell you why instead of scrolling through there you can just have it next to your hand at least i think this is a decent feature and it could be useful to a lot of people and apart from this you have miui lab in which ai preloading is missing as well it was there last week i don't know why it is gone now so you have floating windows and you have second space so compared to the stock rom there are a lot of features that are missing right now and uh, the app icon animations are working absolutely fine the camera still has that bug wherein if you go to the wide angle mode it would sort of freeze and it would not be able to do much and things like those you don't really have a lot of new features in fact there are no new features added to the camera section as well so if you actually see here you have the same old ui right now if you go to the security application and if you go to the settings of security you go to about you have 5.7.5 so every week miui china or xiaomi china is making changes they are updating you know the apps and different changes are being made you do get the new video toolbox you do get the new game turbo 4.0 in this particular update for sure you get that to the left you do have the google feed which in 60 hertz mode looks like it's struggling sometimes right and the main caveat over here is that i still don't see any android 12 related features like if you talk about samsung's one ui even the betas have started getting this you know uh, monet ui theming system so if if you go to say the theme section over here right and if you were to let's see let's talk about some built-in themes over here let's go to this particular theme okay so the theme has been applied successfully but as you can see over here apart from the transparency nothing changes so they have not applied the monet ui they've not made any major changes but i'll tell you this xiaomi is working on it week by week they are doing stuff on it now i do see a blue colored icon over here the reason for that i'll tell you is if you go to settings and if you go to battery you do have this performance profile which i've set it to performance so the icon turns normal if you put it on save battery it will turn sort of yellowish orange so that is something that is a customization that they have added and as you can see my device has been active for 8 hours and 18 minutes i've had the screen time for 2 hours and 23 minutes and still we have 70 percent battery life so you know the reason these weekly updates are very very important is because you come to know for your device and probably on one of the other devices that will get these updates from xiaomi what are the features that are getting added every week what are the bugs that are getting fixed and stuff like that all in all android 12 based xiaomi.eu is a decent daily driver if you don't want to use wide angle and you can manage a lot of features missing on your Mi 11X. You can definitely go ahead and flash it using fast boot. Now, before we actually end this video, we will talk about safety net DRM and we will talk about the benchmark numbers. So first, let's talk about safety net, which is a given thing because this is Xiaomi.eu and safety net will definitely, definitely pass as you can see over here. As far as the DRM info is concerned, Wideband L1 is passing, so you won't have any problems. Let's go ahead and go to the gallery over here and let's have a look at the screenshot. Now, as you can see, average performance is 229,444 GIPS. The CPU throttled to 93% of its max performance. Now that is still low compared to the 12.5.18 stable enhanced edition. And I'm pretty sure they should be able to get their software up to speed with Android 12. Now let's go ahead and talk about Geekbench numbers over here because that is something very significant. So 963 single core, 3074 multi-core. Again, you know, that is on the lower side. And even if you go to N22 benchmark, the same story continues. 613,965, that is an extremely low score. Remember, this is a device which scored around 700,000 points on the Moto Edge Plus Pro port. And yeah, usually it scores about 680 to 685,000. So these are the benchmark numbers and those are the battery stats. Fast charging and all works absolutely fine. You can definitely use it as a daily driver minus some bugs that I mentioned. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at phone off. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.